Hey guys, Kaylin at Elbema Farm. Um, today I'm making homemade hand sanitizer. We had a really bad flu season here and now we've got the coronavirus going around so I've been going through a whole lot of this stuff and I found a recipe online that lets you add whatever scent you want to it. So I want to make the Fruity Pebbles because you guys know how I love the Fruity Pebbles stuff. Um, but there is a very specific ratio that you need to do because it needs to stay above 60% alcohol. Most hand sanitizer you find, this one is 62%, most you find is going to be between 60 and 70% um, percent alcohol. And so to do that, you have to use alcohol that is higher than 90%. This one is 91. Um, if I could have found the even higher, I would have, but there was only two bottles of this left on the shelf. And then the other thing you add is aloe gel. Now, I looked for plain aloe gel, and this was all I could find. In fact, there were only two bottles of this left, and I bought one. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent. I'm hoping it's not too strong and that it doesn't overpower the Fruity Pebbles, um, but we'll see. And then the second ingredient in this is actually alcohol, so that should help keep the alcohol percentage up a little bit. And then the other thing you're going to need is some bottles to put it in. Um, I grabbed these. These were... I think three dollars for the entire package I'm not sure um, but it's just little tiny I think they're three ounce yeah three ounce squeeze bottles and this is supposed to be super easy um, I did take I use the alcohol for um, my soap so I already had some and I went ahead and sprayed everything down with alcohol because it doesn't do any good to be making stuff and not making sure it's sanitized um, I do need to do this bottle since I did just open them um, the instructions were clear about making sure that you sprayed um, the container it was going in and letting it evaporate totally. Okay, so the, the ratio is it needs to be two parts alcohol to one part of the aloe. And this is 16 ounces. I'm going to use the entire thing of it. And then it's going to call for one cup of this because this is going to be two cups of the alcohol to one cup of the aloe gel. And the reason you add the aloe is because without the aloe, um, that alcohol can be really hard on your hands um, and dry them out super fast, which doesn't do you much good if your hands get dry and crack and split and then you've got open wounds on your hands. It's going to be awful hard to keep those sanitary. Okay, so there's my aloe in there. And then the recipe called for just a few drops depending on your amount. So I'm going to use, I'm not even going to use a full eighth of a teaspoon, but I am going to put it here just so I can make sure I don't get too much in. And then all you're supposed to do is whisk it. Now, I've never done this before. I really am not sure how this is going to come out. I'm hoping it's going to come out like gel, but this is not feeling like gel. This is feeling very liquid. Hmm. I'm gonna need my funnel and I'm not real sure this is supposed to be a hand gel according to the instructions it was a hand gel but this is very much looking like a hand spray it does smell like Fruity Pebbles some but I mean quite a lot of alcohol too um I guess before I put this in there let's rub it on my hands and see how it turns out because if it's not going to smell like it, then I'm probably going to use this for things other... It doesn't feel gross, though. It does smell like the Fruity Pebbles still. And actually, my hands feel really, really soft. So I think I am going to... I'm going to actually leave this in the bowl. Um, there's no way that's going to work in these bottles. I'm going to go get the spray bottles and transfer it. Um, but the ratio is correct to disinfect your hands if you don't have soap and water. So I am going to go ahead and use it. And they do make the little spray bottles. And the World Health Organization, actually, they have a recipe that's similar. And theirs is meant to go into the hand spray bottles. So 
think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip, skip these because it's just gonna pour out everywhere if I try to squeeze it on my hand. And I'm gonna go get the spray bottles, but that was really easy. And I think total, like not counting my scent since I already have the scent. Total, I think, I think this was three bucks and it should do two batches of this. And this was like 97 cents. So four bucks and it made quite a lot of the hand sanitizer. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. I mean, some people might not like it, but it smells like Fruity Pebbles and that's, that's my whole goal and to have my hands clean. So there you go. If you wanted it jelly, maybe find a different recipe because this is totally not going to work. Um, but if you just want hand sanitizer that smells the way you want it, if you want to put tea tree oil in, or you could use lavender, um, any of those, you know, immune boosting, um, or antibacterial or that kind of, um, essential oils, you could use those. But I mean, that was, that was really easy. It didn't work the way I planned. Um, but it'll still clean my hands and it still smells good. So there you go. If you wanted it to be jelly, different recipe. If you don't care how it turns out, this one will work for you. Thanks guys. Bye.